Hi guys, this is Mrs. O'Brien. Today we're going to be looking at Dex, the heart of a hero, and this is Journey's Lesson 20. This story is from the fantasy genre. In this story, we're going to be looking for things that could not happen in real life. As we're reading, we're going to see events that could not really happen and characters that are not found in real life. Put your finger on the title. Dex, the heart of a hero. Our essential question for this story is what makes someone a hero? After reading the title and looking at the cover, what do you think the story will be about? Remember, we said that the title is often a clue as to what the main idea of the story will be. Dexter was a little dog. His legs were little, his tail was little, his body was little. He looked like a plump sausage sitting on four little meatballs. Being the size that he was, Dex was often overlooked. The other dogs grew tired of waiting for Dex to catch up when they played chase, and after a while, they forgot to invite him at all. No one really seemed to notice him, except when Clevis the Tomcat demonstrated how he could stand right over Dex and not even ruffle his fur. Yes, everything about Dex was little, except for his dreams. He wanted to be a hero! He could just see it. The mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night. Hmm, why do you think Dex wants to be a hero? But wanting and being are two different things. Dex lived on dreams until one day, after crawling out from under Clevis yet again, he decided there had to be more to life than gazing at the underside of a cat. There had to be more to him. If he could be a hero, he would. So Dex started training. He read every superhero comic book he could find. He watched every superhero movie ever made. He went to the library. Dex figured that a superhero must have strong muscles. He needed exercise and lots of it. Dex started trotting to the corner and back every morning. He hopped over every crack in the sidewalk. He struggled to climb the garbage pile up and over and down, then up and over and down again. All day long, he worked day after day. Even at bedtime, when he wanted to flop on the rug with his tongue hanging out, Dex forced himself to circle five extra times. When it got easier to run to the corner and back, Dex did it again, and then again. Then he dragged a sock filled with sand as he ran, and then two socks. When Clevis was bored and stood in the middle of the sidewalk to block his way, Dex dropped to the ground and slid right under him. He was too busy to be bothered by Clevis. Wow, Dex is working really hard. What do you think is going to happen next? Thanks for reading with me. You can check our Dojo class story and my teacher webpage for more grade 2 lesson 20 resources, materials, and assignments. Thanks, guys.